False Arash, welcome back. Agus False Gdi and Kyaksha. Welcome to this lesson. We're going to look at something so, so important in Irish. It is a basic thing that you need to know if you want to speak or write Irish at all, because it is something that native speakers or fluent speakers would never make a mistake in. So it's very important for any learners to know the difference between feminine and masculine nouns, why it's important, and also how to find out if something is feminine or masculine or how to know. So unlike in English, it's very, very important in Irish whether something's feminine or masculine. And many different important changes happen depending on whether a noun is feminine or masculine. So for some examples, we have ain, which is Irish for bird, ain. But if you're saying the bird, you would say on tain and you'd put in a t. Now, this is because ain is masculine. So bird in Irish is masculine. So because it's masculine, after the, it gets a T added to it, on tain. So if you said on ain, you would be totally incorrect. And that is a mistake that native speakers would never make. So you can see why knowing ain is masculine is really, really important here. And for example, then ban is woman. Ban, I know it does look like bean in English, but it's ban, which is woman. Van is feminine and after the it takes a H here so it's on van. So ban changes to on van because woman in Irish is feminine of course. And then looking at man, far is man, the man is on far and no change happens here on far because it's masculine. Other ways it's important is because ain is masculine, if you were saying it's a bird in Irish you would say is ain a. And this E father here is pronounced like A, and this is referring to the bird being masculine. So it's like saying he is a bird. Ban is woman, is ban E. She's a woman, is ban E. So you have I father here, pronounced like an E, is ban E. She's a woman. And then he's a man is is far A. He's a man. When you're referring to nouns in Irish, you need to know if they're feminine or masculine so you can refer to them properly. So then how do you know, I'm always asked this question, how do you know if something is feminine or masculine? Now stay with me here, I'm going to make this so short and I'm going to show you a hack, a really, really quick way to find out as well that you'll always be able to find out on the go if a word is feminine or masculine. But there are some giveaways. So for feminine nouns, then chudis mo, mostly, but not always, continents are going to be feminine, countries are going to be feminine, Rivers are going to be feminine and languages are going to be feminine. Now, all of these do come with the occasional exception. For example, for languages, Berla, which is English, is masculine. But mostly languages, rivers, countries and continents will be feminine. Now, apart from that, we can tell by the endings of words in Irish. So the endings of words give away if it's feminine or masculine. And all these endings here, if these come at the end of a word, then that word will usually be feminine. So there are loads of examples of words here. So anything ending in AI for the L or I for the L, E A for the I L or A for the I L and so on and so forth for all of these. C H A N, U for the I L, L A N N and E O G or O for the G. And we've got loads of examples of words here. Now I should reference that this little image has come from this has come from the book called Irish Grammar from the author Nulik McCungal. He was actually my lecturer in university when I was doing my master's and my degree as well. And this is the grammar book that I recommend most to people because I find it's the easiest. And he does a really nice summary of feminine and masculine nouns in this book. So this is taken from his book. And then for masculine, we have a similar list of endings. All of these endings here. And this is the book here that I've just recommended, Lara Graham de Goilge. And this comes in Irish and English. So I have the Irish one here and there's a one in English as well. So if you do want to pick up a good grammar book, then I'll just add that in here. Not sponsored, but I should really hit him up for a sponsorship because I recommend it a lot. Now, these are long lists of endings. So what do you do? Do you learn them off by heart? So I would definitely take a look at these endings. And I did when I was learning the, all the grammar. And I would take a look at the endings, but more so I would write out the lists of feminine and masculine example words here. And I would just get familiar with these words. However, what I would recommend more and what I eventually did in the end was just over time from learning phrases and from looking up in the dictionary, you actually start to grasp an understanding and see a pattern of which words are feminine and which words are masculine. 
So that I would suggest far more unless you are a person that likes to learn off lists of things. And I will show you one interesting thing about Irish. Colleen is the word for girl and Colleen in Irish is actually masculine. So these are masculine words and Colleen, the word for girl, is masculine. It ends in I thought the words that end in I thought the end in Irish are masculine. So how do you find then out on the go if something's masculine or feminine? Any dictionary will tell you. So changlin.ie or folklore.ie will both tell you if a word in Irish is feminine or masculine. Now, why I prefer changlin.ie, which is the one that I have on screen here, is because you'll type in your word in Irish and if you click on grammar, it will show you exactly what happens after that with that word. So it shows you that it's on teen and that there's a T there. So any word you type in in Irish in changlin.ie, when you click grammar, it will give you the word. It'll tell you if it's masculine or feminine. So it's a noun, it's masculine. And then it shows you what happens after that. So that's it for this lesson. Hopefully you got some value out of that and it helped you a little bit. You can get a free pronunciation guide down below in the description. This is an amazing pronunciation guide for the Irish language. It goes through how we pronounce all the letters and all the letter combinations that confuse people when they're learning and also has live pronunciation links so you can listen to the words being spoken in each of the dialects as well. So you can grab that down below the video. Guru thank you so much. August Longa Fall. Bye for now.